Hi and welcome to the footer utilities um, for Mobilize 4. Um, and here's how it works. You add the block at the bottom here. Um, and you can choose whether to have the horizontal line or not. Um, and you can choose whether to have the shearer or the comments or just the hits. Okay, so now if you look, if we refresh the page, you'll see the hits goes up. Um, if you want to add a comment, then you click Add Comment and you enter the name. And email. And Tempo should be dem demo. Okay, and then obviously you have to. If you don't accept the terms, then you will get a warning to say you must accept the terms. Um, so you submit the ter submit submit your form. It's on a local server, so it takes a little bit longer than normal. Normally, it's instant. You the the link get a message. Thank you for your comments, um, and an email will be sent to you. Um, now you can choose to have um, the comments auto approved so they will immediately appear online or that they require your approval first before they appear online and as you'll see it doesn't appear online because um, we haven't approved it and, and it, we're, we're currently got it set to um, require approval so if we go and have a look and see if we've got the email There we go. There's a new comment has been posted. Okay, so we've got a new, a new comment that's been posted on your website. It tells you who it's from and their email address and their IP address, and that the comment needs to be approved before it appear on the site. And that there is what was posted, and it was on the index HTML page. Um, and then to unapprove or approve the comment, you just click the link in the email. And then you'll get a screen that says you know, you know, whether you want to approve it or unapprove it. At the moment, it's set as unapproved, so we'll approve it. And it's now been approved. Um, and if and then if we go to view comments now, there we go. There's our approved comment. Okay, so that's the comment side, and there's currently. Because we haven't uploaded up the page, there's currently six comments. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, and the next page, six. Okay, um, and then you've also got the share um, option, and you can either share on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or you can select from a list. Of all those different places to share for, share with, um, and it uses a an ad, a, uh, adapted version of Add to Any. So if we went to share on Facebook, um, as you will see there. Now uh, to get an image to appear there, you would need to set the um, OG tags on your page, and then that will pick up the right image and the right text to appear here. Okay, so that's how it all works. So if we now have a look at it in Mobirise, so there's our block that's been added, and it appears in the extensions and in the Ricosoft group, and you just drag that onto the page to um, get your comments added. And now if we look at the cog, you can change the background color of the block. And you can uh, uh, change, where are we? Oops. You can change uh, the modal pop-ups color, but that won't show unless you publish the site. 
that won't show in, in real view right um, and then you can choose whether or not to show the comments and then the, they will disappear whether or not to show the shearer bar and then that will disappear and whether or not to show the horizontal bar at the bottom so you can use that in a combination of two two different footers so you can have your your main footer at the bottom and then this footer at the top you can also have that of course halfway up the page if you wish and then you can also adjust the top and bottom padding of the block um, and the counter image that would appear here so at the moment we've got that one selected um, and it's a 16 by 16 uh, icon um, and that will show then before the hits okay uh, if you want to change the color of the comments and the the hits text then you'd need to go into the code editor but do not unlock the code editor or you will uh, lose all the options to set and then here the counter the comments the add comments and the view comments you can change each one's color here within the CSS so if you wanted it to be black uh, sorry red then you would just type the counter is going to be red that's on should be red ah. there we go that's red um, and the same thing with the comments and so on so that's how you can change your colors there. So let's put them back to where they were. Okay, so then you simply publish it to your site. You just have to add one file for a database connection um, after you've created your blank database. And there you can set your email address, etc. in there. And then the first time you load the page, it will, it will um, create the necessary tables in the database. So that's it. So there's the footers utility. Enjoy.